Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Lapse, and this is Ignomatica 2 Skyblock. Hope everyone's having a fast day. I'm having a pretty sweet one myself. The humidity is finally kind of slowed down, kind of gone away in my area. Had a nice thunderstorm, cleared the air, and I can function again, man. I can actually think. It is pretty sweet. I did work on a lot in between episodes, so I made a big platform. I have a torch graveyard because everything's going to be changing very quickly, probably in this series. Because uh, it doesn't seem like a lot's, at least yet, locking me down time gate wise and kind of just push forward. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on major, major resource production. It's kind of the whole concept of today's, but let's go over what we did in between episodes. Uh, we've got uh, up here a mob drop farm that I realized after I didn't, I didn't actually need a mob drop farm. I'll kind of cover that in a second. Um, I'm using the open blocks fan, so you can see up there there's levers kind of activating them. So if you go to, I guess, uh, open block, well, actually let's just go to fan because that makes more sense. And uh, they are super cheap. So piece of iron, then the gate, and then you're good to go. A lot of people were telling me to use vectors. The other reason I didn't use those was, one, I use them all the time. Two, I need sugar, so I had to get into life infusion. I just wasn't ready to do that yet. Just It's just what you want to dedicate your time to, right? And then iron. It actually costs more. It's actually more expensive when you think about it, because it even needs slime balls. So these are actually cheaper, the fans. They push eight blocks. So they'll push eight blocks forward. And um, they sit. So they're sitting on the eighth block. They're pushing ahead eight. There's a three by three hole in the center. So there's like seven blocks between the fan and the hole. And then they're just getting pushed down. Then it has these little side kind of ravines to push the ones on the side. And uh, yeah, man, just made a bunch of them. And uh, all the mobs come down here, they drop, they take a bunch of damage. And uh, there you go, you got these player traps down here. So my Patreon showed me these, these things are cool. I've never used them before. So you go to uh, player trap, there we go. Check them out. They're super cheap. They just take creeper head and uh, two stone. And look at this. This tile will do damage to mobs when they step on it. Mobs killed with this trap will drop XP and player only drops for that cheap. Like that, I mean, it's less damage than Diamond Spike. I think they only do like two or three, but at the same time, that's player drops. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's really good. Getting lots of loot here too, so things are really flied in. You see, I'm getting like crazy arbors and stuff. There's the Flux and Fuse chest plates, which are cool. I'm getting some glowstone. Oh my goodness, all the bows in this one. Bows, man. Gonna have to work on a sorting system again. It's a matter of what I'm gonna dedicate my time to at a time. I just threw away a bunch of paper. But, uh, it is free. <laughs> and it was an accident, but uh, it is what it is. Even getting the uh, nano suit from uh, IC2. I don't know what's making the bobs drop those kind of crazy things, but pretty cool nonetheless. And uh, yeah, that is the mob farm, man. Oh, the way I'm the way I'm collecting that is a vacuum hopper. I don't know if I showed that yet. Vacuum hopper, super cheap, right? So that, and uh, yeah, pretty awesome, man. Go ahead, you can make the uh, obsidian you need for the vacuum hopper is uh, right here. So you just take a stone barrel from Ex Nihilo Coletio, which I always add an accent to for no apparent reason. But anyway, you spend water above one of these barrels, put lava in it, boom, you got yourself obsidian just like that. So you don't have to worry about any crazy recipes or nothing. These things here are pretty cool too, actually. You can configure the side, right? So if I wanted to go out the top, go there, you know what I mean? You could also do liquids with the second one which is, I guess it's yellow or green. Can't really tell. It looks yellowish and greenish. And uh, that would handle the XP. I'm not even dealing with the XP yet. My main reason for not dealing with the XP is because in this pack is a mod called Clumps, which actually just makes all the XP kind of clump together in one giant ball. I forget which pack I was playing, but in the pack I was playing, at one point I touched one of those balls and grabbed 217 levels. It's a little clump with a massive bounce. It won't let the experience kind of build up. If I'm not here, it's not trying to get to me. They just keep, it just gets a larger, larger ball. Don't even have to worry about it, man. Not even a thought, which is pretty cool. Uh, I made a work table. I'll show you how I was making paper too, because I haven't made sugar cane yet, right? You have these wood chippings. You just go bam. There you go. You got paper. <laughs> and that's the one using the uh, Exna Hilo hammer on the trees. So super easy to make. Show you over here too. Um, this is clear glass, of course. It is kind of just floating in the air, right? There's a little thing that you can do. Uh, with Draconic. So if I say I took this chest, I hit numpad 7, it actually places blocks in the world. And uh, that's what I did here to kind of utilize that. I always was aware of this, that you could do this with Sky Resources, but I've never done it. And always by the time someone's reminded me, I've been past that point. This is the first time someone's reminded me where it was still useful, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, anyway, I got that going and uh, it pretty much makes it. So say if I want to do, you know, boom, I want to make some blaze powder. I could just go like that, right? Just bam. Just, just throw it in there. Don't have to worry about opening anything, even climbing it. I don't even have to climb it, really. And, uh, just make it super easy. 
So I did that with a bunch of redstone and uh, blaze powder. So pretty cool and uh, pretty awesome. We're going to replace that in a second anyway, which is actually going to be the first one we get into. So let's actually do that real quick. Let's do this, I suppose. Let's make one glowstone. We're going to have the ability to make glowstone here in a couple minutes. I'm going to get that out of my inventory before I place it somewhere. Let's actually get rid of you two. Actually, I might need some chests. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Let's take some of you. Okay. So we're going to make a, it's called a collector, the combustion collector, right? We're going to make one of these puppies. I'm going to have to grab my plates out of here. Boom. Grab this. Still working on my free plates that we got from that quest there. I did uh, make a couple more and I was just like, I forgot I had the free ones, right? <laughs> I did a hopper for something. Oh, it was for the vacuum hopper. That and I, vendor. And uh, we also are going to need the uh, quick dropper. Let's do that. Grab one of these. That's what I need the glowstone for. Uh, what am I missing, man? Oh, I'm not. What? What? What am I missing? Nothing. Just give me my stuff, man. Didn't want to light up. There we go. We have this. We have that. So let's go ahead and kind of use this. We're going to fully automate this thing today. The combustion. So might as well get to that. Over here, I think we need a snack of this as well. So let's grab you. And uh, yeah, let's get this item out of here first. So we're not going to use this anymore. This was... Oh, I don't want to do that. This was useful while it lasted. Uh, I very much think you should guys should do that you know what i mean the place item world it probably works on the wooden one and it probably works on the stone one as well so it doesn't matter that i was on to the iron i think you just do it anyway as long as it's the right material right um but anyway let's go ahead and throw uh cobblestone down for a second just so we can place the actual quick dropper take the quick dropper throw it there break this i'll break that there we go upgraded my tools to iron too nothing special but i did get that done this is the glass from Tinkers. Just throw sand into the Tinkers, cast it off into the basin, and uh, you get this very nice clear glass, which I actually really like. Take the uh, combustion collector, throw that right there, and uh, it multi-blocked again. So we're good to go. So what we're going to do is kind of automate this recipe here. We need to make some netherrack, so let's do that. Not really automate it, we're going to do that in a couple more minutes. But we're going to be able to do a bunch of them at the same time. So I think it is 8 to 3 was the number that I saw to make a netherrack. So you need to have it at a proper ratio. I'll actually show it at the wrong ratio. So right now, if I try to tap cobblestone and blaze powder, now I'm just going to throw this in here. And uh, you see there, there's nothing but cobblestone, blaze powder. It's not at the right ratio, though. So if I hit the button, it's going to do nothing. If I take it now and uh, throw in the cobblestone, then we'll get the right number of this again, which would be 24, which is going to do us enough for the proper ratio. Hit the button. This is going to collect it, and we can just keep hitting the button as long as there's enough heat there. And uh, just keep doing recipes over and over and over. And that's going to be kind of key moving forward. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to make it so we do recipes. <laughs> as long as they're at the right ratio. Just by hitting a button over and over and over. Which is really cool. Anyway, let's go in here. And uh, get that done. We got the netherrack. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually work towards gold and glowstone. Once we have that, we can kind of ramp up our production of everything. It's going to open up the world for us. But, uh, first, we're going to get this stuff out of here. Here we go. And uh, get some of this smelted off. I only need 12 smelted off, I think, right now. So let's do... There we go. We'll just do it that way. And uh, get these smelted really quick. You, you, you. There. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a netherrack casing. Because it's going to actually have enough heat units to make us glowstone. So the glowstone right here, which is pretty sweet, is going to be right there. So 1700 HU. The casing, I think, is over 3,000. We'll actually see that in a second. No point to show it when this stuff is probably already already done. Because <laughs> we'll own it in a second, man. We'll own the world. We're actually going to get to ridiculous amounts of production today. I'm actually pretty pumped. I was actually amazed we are going to be able to get it this early. So it is pretty cool, man. Let's go here. we got another brick casing. Yeah, that's what we need there. So what did we need for the glowstone? It was... What was it? Glowstone is redstone and blaze i think that's what it is okay we've got everything we need here let's come over here let's actually break this casing we're gonna be able to automate this thing fully in a couple minutes too which is pretty cool so let's go there well not fully you know what i mean but uh a lot i just put down the same casing right in a row that is brilliant there we go let's grab the other brick casing and throw that right there yeah, that's pretty cool and uh this is good to go so it has 3000 heat we're gonna throw some fuel in it we're going to look at glowstone again, just so I know the ratios. I think it's four to two, four redstone, right? Is that what that is? Four redstone to two blaze. Okay. 
we got a stack there, two blades, so we need 32. Sweet, we're gonna take that, we're gonna throw that jazz in there. Okay, and just start hitting the button. <laughs> and uh, that's gonna make it so we can make glowstone. So it's being collected now. Uh, we got quite a few recipes to do here. Once we get all these recipes done, we can actually take this glowstone and start making a lot more recipes. So we can get into gold. Another one we're gonna get into is gonna be Ardite. We're gonna need that. Uh, we're gonna also need Cobalt. So that's gonna be another one. And, uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of recipes to get to. That should be enough to start off, actually. Let's do this. But before we do that, okay, so right now, the fuel that we are using is this here, Primus. I don't wanna use Primus anymore. I would like to get to, I wanna do one single batch of Secundus, and then we're going straight to Tetrius, uh, which is the really good fuel. So if you go to Secundus, you'll see this stuff here is, oh, that's, why does that say? Okay, 75%, <laughs> the one we're on is 75% yield. Once we get to Secundus, it is 175, and uh, it's Tertius, isn't it? There we go. Once we get to Tertius, it's 450%. So it's actually going to output way more of those ore dust when we go and use it. So I want to get straight to this stuff as soon as we can. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, we need one Secundus, though, just so I can kind of ramp up the amount of gold we get here. So let's go Secundus. I go straight to there. Let's do an iron. Maybe grab enough to make two of that should be enough, I would think. Actually, maybe like four. Four iron. What was that again? That is that net. One in three. Duh. Might need some more blaze, but we're good. Wait, let's go set this up. So we're going to grab some blaze and maybe some iron. Do that. Probably pull that out because it doesn't make sense. And there we go. We've got an alchemical. Actually, we only need the one recipe. Why would I even do more? Uh, <laughs> let's go over here. Grab that. And this was that and that. So let's go ahead. Grab one recipe of this. Hopefully this is enough to kind of get us what we need. We'll have to grab one of these fuel, kind of fuel this. Once we have it, we can switch over to another fuel. So hopefully this pans out. <laughs> oh, wasn't enough. Okay, we'll need one more. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, what was I doing here? <laughs> I'm totally confused. Oh, there would have been redstone. No. The outputs. I misjudged the outputs, man. Uh, it would have been, what was this stuff again? That and that. Okay. So we need one more of those in there. A couple of redstone as well, right? Maybe some more fuel. There we go. One more of that. Okay. So going to give us two. It would have been nice if it did, but it doesn't really matter. And, uh, then we can go back, make one more of this. So that, I just want to get enough to kind of pump out so we can maximize it, right? That is what I'm kind of going for, so we don't waste resources. Do this, go to have that, because we have to do that one kind of recipe in the middle. There we go. We got our Secundus. We can use the Secundus over here, I guess. There we go. To make us Tetrius, which is what I'm thinking. So uh, the Tertius, let's go over here. We need this stuff now, a chemical gold. So we're going to have to do a batch of gold. Gold is this and wheat. Uh, glowstone and wheat. Not this and wheat, because this and wheat doesn't mean anything. But uh, we're going to do a little batch of gold here. That's going to get us going. And once we have gold, we're pretty much ready to go. We can rock. We can make the Tertius, and we can make a timer to actually automate the uh, combustion heater, which is what I'm kind of going for. There we go. Let's get that going. Throw that in here. And uh, sweet, man. We already got 15. Look at us go. Oh, well, that's Primus. Why am I throwing Primus in here? Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I'll use the rest of our Primus to actually make us... Uh, what would we make with Primus? The things that we would make with Primus would be, uh, that should be enough actually. Um, glass, I'll just use it to make extra glass. Anyway, let's do that. Probably need two, and then we can make our Tertius. Then once we have four more, we can automate everything. Oh, we need Lapis though, so let's actually go get that done. Do I have all that in there? Yes, we're good. Okay, so to get Lapis, we're going to Take a stack of stone, actually three of them. There we go. Just do that, that, and that. We're going to compress them down. And then I need to clean up my inventory a little bit. I have a horrible setup here. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea. But, uh, it's what I did. I'm going to need that as well, actually. So let's do that. Do that. And don't need you or you right now. Or you. Okay. So we're going to make a rock grinder. It's from Sky Resources. It's going to grind down stone into 
resources that we can use and utilize and do kind of fun things with. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll have to make a ore washing thing, which is a cauldron. We're just going to call it an ore washing thing, apparently. <laughs> Good use on that. We're going to make a compressed one. That's why I compressed the stone down. Now we're just going to kind of grind this down in mass. And actually, before I do this, let's kind of do this. There we go. I need some chest here because uh, this is going to give us a whole bunch of drops here. Let's do that. Let's grind this puppy down. Sweet. And boom. <laughs> it's pretty silly how much stuff you get out of it. But throw it down here. Boom. And throw that there. Okay. So we got everything. We should have some resources here, though. We have a stack of lapis, which is what we want. We're going to take the rest of this netherrack and grind this down as well. I'm not going to bother compressing this one because it's really not enough to bother. There we go. Sweet. And uh, just grab this one. Do the same thing. And this is going to give us some quartz, which we're going to need later on anyway. So I might as well grab it. Do that. Oh, I needed that. Give me my lapis back, man. Right there. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. We should have enough gold there now. So let's get that going. Let's go to have that eight gold. And what was the recipe of that? I forget. Let's go to Tertius. Tertius right here. And we just need enough alchemical gold ingots to kind of get us kind of fired up here. So we need three and one. So let's do that real quick. Let's pull you out. You. What was that one more time? Okay, three glowstone. I was worried it was three uh, <laughs> gold. I want to make sure we have enough here. So we'll actually use three of this gold to do it. Start us off. Hopefully that's enough. We are using the Secundus now, so we should be okay. And this is going to be a recipe we need to do a lot of anyway to actually get us Tertius. So let's do that. And there we go. We have, I think, everything we need to make Tertius now. So that, we got our Lapis. We just need to wash that. So let's go make a Cauldron real quick. Cauldron. Grab you. And uh, I guess we'll do that. We got a bucket on us, which is exactly what we need. Let's go here. Done. Let's hammer this out, man. Getting all the stuff done. Really pushing for the fast resources. That's really what I want in this pack. To make it so, you know, early resources aren't a problem. And we can focus on, you know, pushing forward through the quest lines. And stuff like that, right? So let's go ahead and make some lapis here. We're going to need some of this for cobalt anyway. So I don't mind doing a big batch of it. There we go. Get her all done. Sweet. It's random too how much water this thing uses. It seems like, I, I think colder usually has what? Is it three steps to it or one? I can't even remember. Not one. <laughs> Three steps or four? I really need to play vanilla sometime so I can remember all that vanilla stuff. I just haven't played vanilla in so long. I really should play it a little bit in uh, this version, which is what, 1.3? Or 1.13, I should say. Let's grab that. We had that. And what was the rest of Tertius? It was the Lapis and Glowstone, right? So let's grab a whole bunch of that. Don't need too much of this right away. I will do more of this later on. Dub that. And maybe 12 of you. We're going to get the right ratio in there. There we go. And then we're going to prime it with one secondus, right? So one secondus, boom. And we'll only use this for the first batch. Then once we have that, we can actually move it over to Tetris, and the output is going to go through the roof. <laughs> you see here, it's still at 175%, and it's not going to make it to the other one yet because it needs to burn through this fuel bar. Oh, there you go. It went over to 145. And then it'll just start pumping in things. This actually happens to be the exact next recipe we need, which actually works out pretty sweet. But you can see how fast that cobalt's going in, like how fast that's going down and how barely, I mean, in comparison to how much it's consuming in the items, which is really awesome. <laughs> Let's uh, throw some more of that in. Let's get a couple more of them. Maybe a couple more of this in here. There we go. We're going to have to do some more glow stowed here, but that's fine. There we go. I think we needed 22 anyway, but uh, we'll kind of move over here. And uh, where were we at? So we have our Tertius now. And we could produce mass amounts of stuff. We just made a mass amount of cobalt. And what else? Do I, oh, the timer. Do I have the gold on me? Let's go ahead and make the timer. Then we'll work on the ardite. And then we'll be looking sweet. Like truly, truly sweet. Everything's going to kind of fall together. Everything I'm doing is going to kind of make sense. And now we're going to start getting a large amount of resources. <laughs> I mean, even right there you saw with the, the Tetris, how crazy it is. But it's even going to multiply this as well. So it's multiplying on top of multiplying. Uh, let's grab one redstone. Let's head over here and put it right there, I suppose. Oh, we need a lever. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Go here. Go to the lever. Grab that. Sweet. Grab you and uh, throw this down. 
probably right there. Throw a lever right here. I'm going to set the tick timer to about 40. That'll make it fire every two seconds. So 1 to 20, and I can turn it off whatever I want. So now, if I want to automate redstone, not redstone, let's go to uh, glowstone. So glowstone, sweet, it was 2 to 1, right, with redstone. Actually, let's do a batch of redstone first. There we go. To do redstone, we need 1 to 1 ratio. So if I wanted to, say, clear that, and clear you, and clear you. So 1, 2, 3. We're going to make a, a metric butt ton. That's actually the measurement we're using. We go so there's three there that's good one two three <laughs> like i said we're going to do a lot of it sweet and then i turn this on it's just going to keep going it's just going to keep producing and collecting producing and collecting and yeah that's pretty much automated all we really need is a hopper and a chest to look out of this and uh, that is good to go so while that's doing that let's go ahead and work on hard because uh, that's actually the next thing we need <clears throat> What we're actually working to, I don't even know if I carried the, covered this, is the mandolin casing. So I want to get the mandolin casing and the mandolin condenser. Once I have this condenser, you can see here the speed is 310%, the efficiency is 740. It's the same on both, right? So it, it, it's going to give us a massive amount of efficiency. Efficiency basically needs more resources. And having this this early is going to be massive. So I've already got our cobalt, because I worked out that we did, I think it was 22, right? It was 8 plus six plus another eight for the casing and uh we need to make this as well which we can make right now so let's go ahead and make that then we'll actually look at ardite and finish this off oh did i use all my glowstone <laughs> i mean it's gonna be the next thing i make anyway it's not a big deal yeah let's do that sweet guess uh we'll pull you sweet should have a bunch of redstone in here now and glowstone i'll never remember these recipes i have to check them every time my brain just isn't wired to remember things like this let's do that and uh, the other half would have been uh, blaze powder right <laughs> do that half i guess we'll throw that in there and then there turn on there we go there we go got our glowstone that's cool finish off our component for this so let's go to mantle and uh, see if we can find it here should be right in front of my face there we go we have our quartz amplification component, which has a fancy name for our crafting component. And uh, the last thing we need is Ardite. So Ardite, I think is the only thing that was really stopping me was slime balls, right? So let's go to Ardite or dust. I guess check that out right here, maybe. So yeah, we need magma cream and glowstone. I'm making the glowstone right now. We just need slime balls, which we could do with rights. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and grab you. And uh, maybe pull this stuff up out as well. And maybe even do this because everything is a mess again. Let's do you, 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 you. And you. That's good. Enough room to kind of function. Go ahead and turn this into rice dough, which is pretty cool. Sweet. And uh, that rice dough, we can take it here. We're going to build a recipe. So let's do that. Because this thing actually remembers up to nine recipes, which is pretty cool. And uh, we just need a bucket of water. Oops, bucket of water. I made the sink too. It was just a vanilla recipe, so nothing special there. But boom, now we have the recipe, and I could just kind of grab the water, go here, do that. Oops, sorry, do that. <laughs> just rinse and repeat. Just makes it so you don't have to build the recipe over and over and over, especially with liquid crafting. That might be enough with Tetris, actually. I think it is. So we just need that and blaze powder. So let's go ahead and grab the magma creams. Sweet. And uh, get this going, man. We just need some of that glowstone, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Got another 55 right there. You can see how the resources are just flying in now. Whatever we want to produce, we pretty much can. Let's go ahead and grab... How many recipes of this do we need? We'll kind of moderate it. We'll do this one kind of manual. We go pull out the one cobalt. And just look how fast that goes, man. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at it. Loving it. Oh, I need to get the uh, cobalt in here. Probably going to have to cut in a second. Because the slowest part of this right now is actually this. So it does take a little bit of time. But, uh, yeah, in time we can be able to do this much. Actually, when I use Tetris on glass, I think we get about 10 per cycle. So that isn't too bad. So let's stop that. There we go. Already got enough Ardite. <laughs> that Tertius is insane. And uh, yeah, I, what I think I might do now, like I said, I need to produce all this Cobalt. I need to get switched over to Igots. Um, this is going to be way faster once we get it upgraded. 
But uh, once we have that, and uh, the Ardite all kind of smelted up into this thing, we should be able to make our casing and uh, make our new condenser, and then we can kind of put it through its paces and see how you know fast this thing is going to be. And there, I think we got enough cobalt and ardite now to kind of get done the initial part of this, so that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and turn that off, and uh, kind of move over here. What did I get there? Keeps giving me food lately. Keep hoping for good things. Still getting food. Not that food's a bad thing, but uh, I want the shinies, man. But anyway, let's go ahead and throw, I guess, all of it in there. We'll just kind of do a full batch of that, full batch of this. Uh, I think I kind of worked out that it was, what, 8, 16 plus 6, so yeah, uh, 22 of each to do that because Madeline if you look at Madeline look at the uh, kind of how you created here it's actually one to one ratio right so you need two millibuckets it's one to one right I don't know why they say millibuckets but uh, it'd be 144 millibuckets to 144 millibuckets equals one ingot of Madeline so yeah it's kind of not cost effective compared to most metals where it's just one right <laughs> or when you're making most alloys if it takes three ingots, it, you get three ingots, right? But uh, not with mandolin. Mandolin is that special case. And uh, definitely a thing here. But, uh, once this is done, uh, we should actually pull this. Actually, while we're going here, let's go make a timer. And uh, get that semi-automated as well. Let's grab a hopper, I guess, as well. Let's grab all the things. That, we'll need one of these chests. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. And uh, timer. Actually, a clock. We'll just use a clock for this. Probably the easiest one to use. Let's do that. Sweet. Grab one of that. Just so it'll kind of get the ingots out for us all kind of all willy-nilly without us having to do anything. And uh, a lever. There we go. Sweet and sweet. Awesome. <laughs> Everything's falling together. Coming together? I don't know how it would be falling together. So we've got three buckets and a little bit in there. I like the sounds of that. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, we'll just give it whatever we're going to take here. That's cool. Let's actually break this for a second because I don't want it pouring. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab a redstone clock. Let's throw that up there then turn it off. That's cool. Actually, I might cast a block. As long as we can cast it from a block, it'd be a little quicker to kind of cast this off, I think. But anyway, where'd some of that go to? Wait a second. <laughs> we still got three blocks. But it was like 3888 a second ago, I swear. Or maybe it was just 88. We had a fraction bucket there. I'm not sure what's going on in that respect. Hopefully we're not losing liquids or anything. I never understood why mandolin. I know it's expensive, but why does it have dollar signs on it? Why, man? <laughs> Who thought that was normal? There we go. Let's grab that. There we go. Got a quest for mandolin. What are we going to get here? Shovel heads. Prosperous? I don't know what that does and elemental i'm gonna have to look those up we have plus ticket here so we have a whole bunch of different um what you call it i guess modifiers that i'm not usually used to like evil aura i have no idea what that is gonna have to look them up sometimes depending on how new they are they're not the easiest things to look up either so hopefully it isn't too hard anyway almost got enough here we already got enough for the casing um and then we almost yeah we're almost done here <laughs> let's do that there we go I think that's enough there. If not, we need one more. And actually, there should be at least one more right here. And, uh, we'll kind of get this done, man. Get our condenser. Go here. Condense. Check that out. Grab. We we'll just need one Tertius. I wonder how many times it's going to be before I consistently call it Tertius. I keep wanting to call it Tetrius. For some reason, I just want it to be Tetris because, well, Zelda is awesome. But anyway, let's go over here. Let's grab that and grab this puppy there's our condenser and uh, we just need the casing down once we have the casing we're looking pretty sweet sweet awesome and i can actually make a second casing and throw it on this one i actually have enough uh, once that smelts off if not i got enough uh yeah i got enough right there and then up the efficiency of this as well which is really cool anyway let's get this kind of cleaned up here do that i gotta throw a piece of stone in here so the liquid doesn't run all weird grab you and uh, get this in place and this thing's going to be quite frankly just utterly and completely ridiculous you can see there <laughs> what i didn't know it was multiplicative um in some manner because that's 740 percent and 740 percent for some reason it's 5476 percent when you put it together which i'm okay with okay so let's try gold really quick oh it needs a liquid it's funny about that there we go 
<laughs> look how much faster that is. And look how barely that bar is moving. That is literally going to produce... I don't know. I can't even guess how many gets that's going to produce. They already produced about three, so let's put like three in. I'm just curious how much we're going to get in gold. you got to remember gold is one of the lesser effective ones, I do, right? Yeah, 1.6. So it's usually not that efficient in the first place. And then it is just flying. That bar has barely moved. And uh, we've already got about seven of them. Eight. <laughs> this might give us like 50, 60, 70, 80. Just off that. That is crazy. But I think what I'm going to do is actually wrap this one up here. I mean, we've done amazing stuff today. We've already gotten ourselves an insanely, insanely efficient uh, way of creating resources. I mean, so all those ore dust that we have there, as long as we have the base resources, we can hammer them out, which is really cool. And we're going to have to get into things like Oz and we have other stuff pretty soon. And uh, we'll kind of hammer that out as the time comes. But yeah, I am going to wrap this one up here. I'm going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. Just keep it classy. Also, I have a Patreon. So if you want to check that out, maybe think about supporting me moving forward, making videos. That'd be absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.